So we're on to a handler who's probably very popular because she's uh, representing the United King Kingdom. And this is Elsa, the red and white border collie with Nikki. They won the uh, freestyle final on Thursday, which meant that they are representing the United Kingdom today. They're performing to Good Morning. And uh, this is a fast little dog. Even though she's been working for the last two days, I guarantee those Duracell batteries will keep going until the very end. said it was going to be faster with lots of energy and Elsa there just proving that uh, she really does enjoy being out there. A very nice little routine, one as they say on Thursday and uh, they've actually won last year as well and uh, they've had a very good cross again this year. So this is the score for our Australian Shepherd doing the Baywatch theme that you saw with the resuscitation into second place on 25.87. A nine there for interpretation. Um, judges like that 
use of the story with the jaws, um, music in between, and that's what I meant earlier about editing music. Sometimes you can pop in there a little bit of relevant music, and again, the jaws music suited the idea, the story that the owner was trying to convey there. And so you have to get used to editing music and getting in your relevant bit of music as well, and making it look all seamless in the on the music. So. Uh, Nice routine into second place. Look at that resuscitation and those ear movements. <laughs> Very nice. So it's been very busy up to now. We've had uh, some really lovely routines being performed today. We have three judges. And um, we're still and got our, can you believe, number one in the running order today, that little Jack Russell performing to Mac the Knife, 26.40. They're still in the lead. So the nerves will be trembling out the back there. Will they be able to hang on for our last few teams? But uh, we've still got some very good teams coming up. So there's nothing like performing in this arena, I tell you, in the international. I've been very lucky to perform myself. And uh, with all these people, nearly 6,000 people sitting around, it does make your the hairs on your back of your neck stand up. And uh, we're on to our 11th handler, and she's from Belgium. Loot is with her border collie, Nisha. And this is an eight-year-old bitch. They're performing to the Earth song, Stroke Heal the World. Uh, Michael Jackson, I'm sure you'll recognize this music. It's their second time performing at Crufts. And uh, we wish them well in their routine today. Looking forward to this. everyone to join hands and heal the world. Heal the world.
Okay, so I think they have just withdrawn. The dog looked like uh, it might have needed to go to the toilet. It was just uh, not feeling right. So we've got the score coming up for our UK handler, which is Elsa. And look at that, they've just snuck into first place on 26.60, just ahead of that little Jack Russell on 26.40. I mean, it's very close there, but Elsa there, full of beans, and uh, really uh, such a happy and professional team. They, I tell you, they do train a lot, um, and they can do that because Elsa is so enthusiastic. Um, I know Nikki sometimes says uh, she gets a bit twitchy if she hasn't been out and done some training with the dogs, and. Um, it's, uh, I think they're well suited, this team. They're both high energy, they're both working together. And Elsa is one of those very rare dogs where she just um, just wants to do it. it. It's not really even about the rewards. It's just she has such a bond with Nikki. And uh, Nikki knows she is a very special dog. So we're on to our 12th competitor. And... Uh, not many to go now and the judges will be uh, still keeping focused on uh, what they need to look at which is all those criteria you've got to remember that uh, they've always got to think that there still might be a better dog going to come in and a better routine so here's our 12th competitor and this is Desiree with Tess 11-year-old Border Collie bitch. They're going to be performing to Dance Macabre. And uh, this is uh, their first time at Crufts.
Well, what a very interesting ending that was. And leaving the dog in the middle of the ring there. So, so lovely. And, uh, you know, hard to believe that dog's 11 years old. I mean, it was going around there with such enthusiasm. And uh, that was actually uh, the handler, Desiree's first dog she had when she was 13 years old. So they've been together for all that time. And uh, they've been dog dancing for the last five years. And Tess there doing so well for uh, their first time in the big ring. So we've only got uh, one more competitor to go. Um, Unfortunately, uh, our Belgium dog there retired. Just wasn't it for today. But uh, did a lovely performance up to that moment. But they've retired. So it doesn't alter the standings at the moment, which is Nikki with the lovely Elsa in first place on 26.60. So our last handler of the international freestyle final. And it's been a really interesting final. Always is, I know, having watched it for many years now, you sort of never know what's going to come out in the arena because obviously the UK handlers, we see them performing throughout the year at competitions up and down the country. And if you're interested, do go on to the Kennel Club website and uh, find a show uh, part of their website where, and you can find out where there is your nearest hero at music show and you'll see dogs of all different levels from starters, novice, intermediate and advanced and you might think you might have a go and one of the handlers funny enough on, on Thursday had come here back in I think it was 2014 and watched the freestyle and thought she'd like to have a go with it and then to this year she was actually performing in the final. So that's a great story there. So our 13th handler is Barbara. She's from Italy with Zoran, the Border Collie dog, another 11-year-old dog. Uh, they're very experienced in competition, these two. And they're performing to Mercy in the Darkness, Stars of Tomorrow, Stroke Journey. So they have a very special relationship, Barbara says, and Zoran is her rock. So let's see what they can do. Can they knock Elsa off that first placed spot?
Well, a lovely sort of story there and a good choice of music because it was a combination of tracks uh, starting off with that eerie music into that powerful music which allowed the handler to do some more powerful moves and to move around the ring and the judges will be liking the fact that they used the ring they moved around because the ring use is so important uh, you don't want to be just standing on the spot so lovely little routine there and there is our scores for our Netherlands handler that was Tess the 11 year old border collie bitch and they're in the fourth place on 25.37 so this was the uh, if you're in the UK it's um, Jonathan Creek music I think it was and uh, doing some nice distance work there we were speaking about distance work earlier and that will have sort of scored well with the judges that distance work but you want you know a combination of moves some at a distance some close to the handler and you don't want to sort of them all at a distance and uh, i think it's the first ever routine i've seen with a, an actual skeleton sat in the roots in the ring at uh, at cross there i tell you there's been many a routine in this ring and there the dog just died at the end now that is confidence isn't it for the dog to do that to fall back on its own the owner was nowhere near it so we only have one more score now and uh, we've got 26.60 to beat so as you can see there the scores a mix of some eights there and uh, 25 points dead into fifth place so that means Nikki with uh, Elsa has done it again. So she will be over the moon with Elsa uh, again doing the, the double as we call it. But here was Zoran showing a variety of types of moves there using the chin target on the book, but then into some lovely enthusiastic circling. Good control as well when look facing forwards going into the high, but there was a moment where the dog held some flowers and did really good control. It, it stood with one paw up and then changed to the next paw. And again, that will you know, be impressive to the judges that there's this control the hand has got. It's not just all about running around at 100 miles an hour, it's about keeping control. So there we see the results. In first place is uh, Nikki with Elsa on 26.60 and then it's a uh, little Sam from Switzerland which I'm sure she'll be very happy with Monica and uh, you can see them all coming into the arena now the handlers some of them traveled long distances to get here so that is some commitment to uh, travel here to uh, compete at Crufts but it creates memories that these handlers will, I'm sure, treasure with their dogs. So Nikki, I think, getting a little emotional there. She's... Uh, She's worked very hard to uh, get to this level and, and to work with this routine. She always does. She always puts in a very professional performance. And uh, it means so much to the relationship she has with this dog. Uh, it's probably like none other she'll have with any other dog. You often get one special dog in your life. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Elsa is going to be it. So we've had our three judges they've done a, a brilliant job over the last three days uh, they've got to concentrate solely on what they're seeing they can't be skewed by what the audience whether the audience are clapping a lot or whatever um, and uh, they've got to keep focus what in their mind scores high points and um, they've got to always be aware that there may be another dog coming into the arena that's going to do better so is that dog that they've just seen you know the best 
in their mind. And if it is, then they've not got to be afraid to score it high. As we saw there with the, the uh, scoring today, uh, our number one dog, Sam, that little Jack Russell from Switzerland, was our number one dog. And uh, they could see the quality in that performance and the accuracy. And uh, so they scored it very well. So there's a very happy Nicky. They will be doing another performance later on today. To and I'm sure Elsa will be still be as enthusiastic Nikki as she was on day one. Paying off today for Nicky. Fantastic. Our reserve in second place. Representing Switzerland. Now I'm sure we're going to see uh, Nikki and Elsa back Getty. again next year. Uh, Nikki also has another young dog as well. So uh, it might be red and white really collies uh, all around next year as well. As the top three in the heel well. work yesterday was uh, okay. all red and white border collies. Place. Please put your hands together with Australian Shepherd Meredith, all the way from Hungary. And of course, Christine our third Elizabeth place Elizabeth. dog, let's not forget the very popular Baywatch routine with the resuscitation well, was a Baywatch very popular moment with the crowd here, here in the today. arena when the dog did the resuscitation. And, well and uh, there's a, a lot indeed. to teach just within Keep that one going, sequence. Folks, um, the handler time. can't give anything but any a vocal command she couldn't move she had to remain sort of uh, motionless down there on the floor so it's not like she could point to her mouth and tell the dog to put its mouth on her nose or on her mouth and uh, that's the, the degree of training these dogs have to have so a fantastic end to another fantastic international freestyle final